Hi there, my name is Christian Clavel, President at Canadian First Aid Training. Congratulations, you've received your Automated External Defibrillator, or AED. This proactive step in placing this life-saving device is commendable. Canadian First Aid Training is currently the leading provider of AEDs in Manitoba. We are proud master stocking distributors for the Philips Heart Start line of AEDs. Today we're here to help you to correctly install your new AED and to also ensure you meet new legal requirements regarding your new life-saving device. Let's get started. In this video, we will cover three important aspects regarding the installation, maintenance, and ownership of your AED. These include where to install your AED, how to mount the AED cabinet or bracket, and what you must do to maintain your AED. This is so you stay in compliance with the Heart and Stroke Foundation's AED registration requirements, as well as the AED legislation itself. In a life-saving situation where you require an AED, you only have three minutes to get the device. In other words, you substantially increase the chance of survival if you call EMS 911, get your AED, and administer it to the person when needing the attention within three place, minutes. If you can do this, the chance of survival climbs to upwards of 75%. Therefore, the sooner you get your AED, the better the chance of survival. Remember the three minute rule. If we consider the legislation, the AED must be installed in a location that facilitates easy, rapid public access. It must be clearly visible, located in a common area, and easily accessible to members of the public without assistance from staff at the facility. Generally, the three minute rule is used to determine where and how many AEDs are required. While research indicates that AEDs are optimally beneficial if used within three minutes of the onset of cardiac arrest, it is realized that a three minute rule of access may not always be possible. Therefore, the regulation requires that AED owners install one or more defibrillators to ensure that anyone witnessing a victim of cardiac arrest on their premises is able to access a defibrillator and return to the victim in less than three minutes. If you believe that your facility cannot meet this requirement, that's okay. Feel free to contact us anytime. We're here to help. The AED should be stored in a case that protects it from environmental damage. Some cases are equipped with alarms to help prevent tampering and ensure the AED is only used in an emergency. Let's review. The AED must be publicly accessible, centrally located within your building or facility, visible, secured, and most importantly, don't forget the three minute rule. Now that you've found the most appropriate location to install your AED, let's look at the three most likely surfaces, including this brick wall, that you may encounter. When it comes to drywall, this is by far the easiest surface to install either a wall mount alarm security cabinet or bracket. You'll need the following items to help you install your AED cabinet or bracket. Drill, level, tape measure, marker, safety glasses, and anchors or plugs, as well as screws. These may be self-tapping or pre-drilled types. When it comes to cinder block, concrete, or brick, such as in this case, things are a little trickier, but doable and very similar. You'll need the following items to help you install your AED cabinet or bracket. Drill, hammer drill, extension cord, level, tape measure, marker, safety glasses and ear protection for safety, and anchors such as Tapcon concrete screws. 3 16ths by one and a quarter inches will work. They're typically blue and they come with a bit. Over the years, we've installed hundreds of defibrillators. Along the way, we've used efficient tools and supplies to get the job done right. Here are some tips to help you install your AED quickly and efficiently. Measure twice, make the hole once. Make sure to install the AED cabinet or bracket four feet off the ground. Make sure to keep the AED away from light switches or thermostats. You may also want to place a towel to put on the floor or garbage can to catch the remnants when drilling. When cleaning up, using Bon Ami or Windex to wipe down the cabinet is a great idea. It's also very important to wear the proper protection when installing your AED. Be safe. Make sure to wear eye protection. 
If using a hammer drill when installing an AED cabinet or bracket onto a cinder block or concrete wall, make sure to wear ear protection. If possible, consider using steel toe boots or shoes. Now that your wall mounted security cabinet or bracket is installed, there are a few things to consider to ensure that it's working properly. Make sure to install the appropriate signage. You may have received one or more of the following. A 3D sign, Manitoba government AED placement placard, Boston Pizza or Cowan Foundation AED placement placards, or the following. Make sure to test the wall mount security cabinet to ensure the alarm is working. Use the key found in the red file folder found in the cabinet when you received it in the top left corner and turn the key on. There should be a little green dot there. If you were able to open the security box now and the alarm did not go off, it should have. Please call us today and we'll be able to help you to troubleshoot. If you've requested a wall bracket, please ensure that you use one of the red tie wraps to attach the AED to the bracket. This is to ensure the AED is not tampered with. Once you receive your defibrillator from Canadian First Aid Training, you can rest assured that it has been registered with the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada, Manitoba office. They in turn notify both EMS 911 comm centers in either Winnipeg or Brandon that there is an AED at your location. You will also receive an envelope from the Heart and Stroke with signage and stickers for your facility to make people aware of your AED. To complete the registration of your defibrillator, we require an email from you with the following very important information. We need the exact physical location of your AED placement within your building. This is required for registration purposes with EMS and 911. We want you to kindly take a picture of your AED cabinet to document the AED as part of the registration process. Please email us with these two important pieces of information to the following email address. Last but not least, please visit our website for ongoing tips on doing monthly visual inspections. Now that your AED is installed and tested, your facility is ready now more than ever to help somebody in the event of a medical emergency. My name is Christian Clavel with Canadian First Aid Training. Thanks for watching.